We are joined by the away team head coach, Coach Ramovic. Welcome, sir. Uh, coach, if you may, just give us a brief summary of the match from your perspective. Thank you very much. Um, yes, um, our plan was to come here and, of course, to get the uh, maximum points because we know that uh, if you watch the lock table with 15 points, we are down. So we need every point to reach our goal, of course, until the end. Yes, we know that um, it's still a long season, but we wanted to get so many points as we can until the winter break because we want still to reach our goal and this is to be in the top eight spot in the end. And I think that we started very well. We had two great opportunities and we know that against a fantastic team like Orlando, you, you don't get so many opportunities in front of the goal. And if you get some, then you, then you have to score because I think if you score from the two great opportunities, one goal, the game can be totally different. But after that, they scored from a free kick. Well, I think it was not a foul, but I think I'm too tired to talk about this referee's quality here in PSL, and I don't want to start at all because we have to um, we have to look to for ourselves. We didn't score the, the first two opportunities. Yeah, and then after one nil. It's not easy against a team like Orlando. We started then with the long balls where I was not absolutely not happy about it because with long balls and second balls you don't have a chance to win against any team. It's just a lottery. So in the half time we talked clear that we want to play from the back, from the keeper and keep the ball on the ground and try to switch the side to attack the space and yeah, but we didn't have this kind of opportunities in the second half. They clearly some some. In the end, unlucky for for us, but yeah, um, I give a lot of credit to my team. We tried everything, but uh, sometimes the things doesn't go the way you like to. And I, and also I would like to give a lot of credit to the opponent for a fair and tough game. They have a great team, great coach, and I wish them all the success they have if in the start of the season to reach also. Thank you. We'll now open for questions from the floor. As we we've got Rodin Max, uh, please, by a show of hands, identify yourself as well as the media company you represent. Uh, to ask any question. Uh, coach, can I ask you, the, to, if you got that uh, early goal and you had then obviously maybe got a result out of that, how much of a boost would that have obviously been for Saturday's Cup Final? And is it now in reverse, the fact that you that you missed two very good chances, is that a little bit of a deflator that you maybe got to work on this week in terms of confidence for the Cup Final? I think that uh, I'm now with my team almost for two years. And we got this kind of, uh, let's say, games and this kind of experience like what you ask now and my team, they, they, they know now. Everything what is past is past. You cannot change it. You have to work with your mind. You have to think positive because this is the only way where you can survive as an athlete. I know the mind is a very, very strong, strong thing because he can put you down or also up. But you have to work with your mind and you have to work every day, talk to yourself that you are good because if you were not good, you were you, you would not play in P PSL. So you have to think positive and you have to believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, who, who, who should? So all in all, I think my players, they will be absolute ready for the cup final. Absolute no worry about it. Um, coach, uh, hard luck on the result. Um, Vendila from the CBC. Um, you, you, you talk about being um, intentional about 
playing from the back, and uh, and also you discouraging and um, playing that long ball. And earlier this week, on that very same set, we were engaging Coach Steven. He was talking about um, maybe as Africans being acceptive of um, playing this brand of football because it also talks to um, the kind of players that we've got in the country. Is this something also that, and as you've been coaching here for two years now, um, you've also getting accustomed to that. This is the right type of football to play with the players we've got. I think it's a complex, more complex as just to sit here and say we have to play always from the back and and everybody should do this because to play from the back is hard work. Play the long balls, it's the easy part. You just put the long balls and everything just with uh, lucky deflections, lucky uh, free kicks you, you score, but this is in my view. But again, every coach has his own style. My style, I don't like this long balls. Second balls, but if you want to play like this from, from the back, you, you, you have to start with under 15. You have to start with the younger players because, again, I never saw so many talents that you have here actually in South Africa. Unbelievable what for skillful players, fast ones. But if we talk about a, 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 a tactically approach, this is where you are not far. Because if you watch the big five leagues, this, they are just far away what it, when we talk about the tactically side. Because we get also players from the under 21, under 23, from NFT, and you can see that they are not coached. What it means coached. I don't want to talk about uh, other coaches, but I mean like about the tactical view. And this is where you have to start with under 12, under 13, 14, 15, 16. But now, now if I say against something more, it will be again this coach, he talks too much. But the thing is, if you ask me about the opinion, and, I, and I'm honest, I think it's just a good thing for the PSL, because I like this uh, 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 country. It's a beautiful, beautiful country with a lot of beautiful people. And in my view, if you don't need any education in PSL, what we should then talk about? If PSL don't respect this league himself, and if anyone can be a coach, what we are talking about even more. So it means the standard has to be, again, to improve everything here, because you have unbelievable skillful players again. But to improve everything, you need a standard because to be in PSL, you have, you have to be one of the best, uh, 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 let me say, coaches, right? But to be the best, you need education. So to educate yourself, it takes time. For me, if you ask me how long it took to have the UEFA Pro, seven years. But it's not about only about the Education is about, you know, you educate yourself that the players don't get injured. So you, you have to know about the micro cyclus, you have to know about the macro cyclus, you have to know about the meso cyclus, you have to know about everything to improve the players, to make them fit that they don't get injured. So, and if a, and if a team has 10 injured, players with hamstrings and with adductor, then you have to ask yourself, do, do you know so much about these kind of things as a, as a coach? So it's the complexity. And if you improve like this, you need also for under 15, you have to have education. Coaches, minimum CAF B for under 15. Under 17, CAF A, why not? Then you will improve. And then we can talk about to play from the back. Because then you get players from the under 18, they are top, they are well educated, and it's easier 
to play with them. So all in all, I think it's more complicated. But again, we went now because it's about the game, and now it will be again Ramovic talks too much. But uh, I apologize, but you ask me, and this is my honestly answer. Coach, I haven't seen anything that says Ramovic talks too much, but anyway, um, <laughs> can I ask you about this week now? You, What are you going to do this week? What are your plans? Do you, give the, do you go somewhere special? Do you give the boys some days off? What are, what are you thinking in terms of the build-up? We, we reached the cup final and it's a beautiful thing. So it means that this club and this team goes in the right direction. And that's it actually. Yes, it is a cup final. Yes, we, we will prepare ourselves because it's a fantastic opportunity for us. And But even if we don't get the positive there also, we believe in our way. We believe in the way how we uh, build up the club and the team and we will have a lot of more cup finals. I'm ab absolutely sure about it. Why? Because I believe in our quality, I believe in my stuff, I believe in myself that we can make it. It's a, it's, it, it is a process, especially for us if you don't have this kind of financial power like other clubs. So yeah, so you have to improve young players. You have to improve uh, the players you you get, and we are and we do do it because if we in the end sell again five players, it's also a great success from my staff or for for us for the staff and for me because it's not easy again to improve players so much that the best clubs comes to you and buy the players from you. The, this is the the club that we are now right now, but I'm absolutely sure that, that, that soon, if we get financial stronger, that we can keep this kind of players and then we can hopefully be one of the best teams in the, the league. It is a dream, but why we should not dream big? Sorry, what are you doing this week, Coach? We do the same thing, same like always. We analyze now why we lost today the game. We analyze now what we should improve. We analyze what we should not do anymore, and then day off. But then we are pre preparing ourselves just like the last two years, what we do, and try to improve even more and more and more. We record every session. We cut clips. We sh show the pl uh, players what we do, what we ha what we have to improve. We will analyze also the opponent. We will show the, the guys some clips. I have a lot of time now to watch again a lot of games from uh, uh, Stellenbosch and then to cut the, the clips what we believe that we can hurt them, where are the strengths, the, the weaknesses, the same procedure like always. Next question, Thank you. Good evening, coach. Uh, Kapil Sharma, Sky Sports. Coach, you, you have to forgive me. I've, been, I've had an opportunity to watch a couple of your training sessions, uh, maybe not legally so, just to try and learn from you. And in, in my eyes, you're one of the best the coach tactically. What makes a good coach in your eyes? Because uh, you know you, you, you are not far off from the other top coaches. From in your perspective, what makes a top coach? First of all, thank you very much. Secondly, the next time if you come, just come to me. It's you always welcome to watch the training sessions, so you don't have to hide. Always, so no problem at all. If you need some, if you have some questions, you always welcome to ask. Uh, I think that every coach has his own own style and all thing. You know, I'm more because I went through when I played myself. So I went through all the good things and the bad things. So I know actually what, what it takes to be a pro professional guy. And, it, and I know that to increase the chances to be a good coach is, for, of, of course, to, to educate you, yourself. But I think it's not always as a, as a coach. I think it's always in every every job you are, you are doing. You have to educate yourself because this will increase the chance 
that you know about your job, that you know about the things, that you can change some tactically things, that you can change something, that you can see in the game what the opponent does. Example, when we played now against Amazulu, they played 3 5 2, but in the halftime they changed on 4 4 4 2. So then you have to change your game plan also. And you have to spend a lot of time, you have to be upset about your job, you have to love your, your, your job, you have to enjoy it to, to improve every day 1%. And this is, I think, this is the thing what I would tell a coach what he should do, because when I see you, you have in our league a lot of great coaches, one of them, example, Eric Tinkler, then you have Rulani, then you have Rio from Orlando, then you have a, a lot of great coaches, but also you, you have some coaches. You ask yourself, how is this possible? <laughs> Coach? Please, no. A lot of a lot of respect, but I think everyone can have their own opinion. Take us on the final question. Please, madam. <laughs> can I ask you about this? Uh, not scoring away from home. You have zero goals in the league. You got three goals last week in Durban. Uh, is it something that bothers you? I think it. I, I think it would bother every coach <laughs> if you don't score. But I would, you know. But we. But we. But we have to know that if we would not have these kind of opportunities, this would be even more painful, because then it's something that we don't do a good thing. But if we get these kind of opportunities, because look, in the end, what is the job of a, a, a coach? The job of a coach is to make a game plan that we get a lot of opportunities against the uh, opponent. To score the, the goals, I can't. I can't do, do it myself. Because I was a keeper and I was not a striker, but anyway, even now, I can't, I can't do it. What we can do, we can improve the players that we have and try to make them better. And hopefully, after a while, they will get better and then we can also score more goals. But in the end, of course, again, what I like in my team is that we have a fantastic group of great attitude guys. They are very, very great professional and they come to training and they want to improve. And this is, I'm so happy to see this why because they understood that if you don't want to come up, I don't have a chance to help you up. But if you, you have to know, are you willing to pay the price? It means, are you willing to sacrifice your life for this beautiful job that you have? Yes or no? You want to train hard? You want to improve? You want to come to a training? Focus? You want to understand the things? Or you just come and you don't care? Or you come drunk? Or you come partying? Or you, whatever it is, you have to know you want to come up, beautiful. You don't want to come up, you will be replaced just like the coaches and everything. If I don't do my job and I come to a training, I just sit and tell them we are playing 11 against 11 just for fun. Can they improve? No. Can I improve as a coach? No. I will be soon replaced. This is the karma. I believe in hard work. I believe in that you have to sacrifice. I believe in uh, that God opens the door if you work hard because God knows if you go every day to train, to work hard, you will be rewarded. Maybe not soon, but one day you will be and reach the goal what you want to reach.